water is the most malleable computer on the planet. You may be living wantonly right now, but water is responding largely to your karmic substance. The same river water will respond differently to five different people if they allow little space between them, it's clearly there. Water has both memory and intelligence of its own. What is water? Water is a transparent, tasteless, colorless, chemical substance which is made up of billions of molecules. Each molecule is made with one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms together by strong covalent bonds. But this is the modern scientific description. From ancient times, it has been believed that there are four fundamental elements – fire, air, water, and earth. Among these, water has more active role in our life compared to the other elements. It is the most basic need of everyone, not just human, even animals, plants, insects and other microorganisms cannot live without water. Without water, we can't imagine the life. The life on other planets is not possible only because of the absence of water. We all know that the earth is covered by around 75% of water. It seems that water is endless, renewable source because it regenerated through rain and exhalation. So why we should hold of water and try to conserve it? The truth is, only 1% of the water is usable to us and from remaining 99%, 97% of the water is salty sea water and 2% of the water in the form of glaciers and polar ice caps. On other hand, in some organisms, up to 90% of their body weight comes from water, up to 70% of the human body is water also. According to the Journal of Biological Chemistry, our brain and heart are composed of 73% water. Lungs are about 83% water, skin contains 64% water, muscles and kidneys are 79% and even the bones are 31% watery. So, we can understand that water is very important in our life. Apart from that, water has some mystical secrets also, like water has both memory and intelligence. Let's see what Sadhguru says about that. In the last decade or little more than that, much is being said in modern scientific language as to how water has both memory and intelligence of its own. It is not just uh, reacting to various things happening around it, it is responding and water's response to different inputs is different. There are experiments to show how water does not respond the same way to every person who approaches it. So if the water does not respond well to you, you're a done case. Over seventy-two percent of your very physical body is water. If the water doesn't behave well with you, you're done. Your physical life <laughs> is going to be a… a horror story in so many ways. You can be vaccinated for every disease there is and there isn't, but uh, your physical life is going to be a horror story because water does not respond well to you. Why wouldn't water respond well to you? <clears throat> to 
put it in a very simplistic way, if you do not approach this dimension, consciously or unconsciously, appropriately, what a man choose not to respond to you well. You may be living wantonly right now, but water is responding largely to your karmic substance. The fundamental reverb that you're setting forth, based on that, accordingly it'll respond. So, if we find that somebody has this issue of the very water which is nearly two-thirds of our body or more than two-thirds of our body, nearly three-fourths of our body, is not behaving well within us and just about everything is going wrong with the system, then water-based kriyas and karmas are done so that you make friends with water <laughs> because if you're not friends with food, you can still manage, it's only twelve percent. But if you're not friends with water, physical life is going to be a horror story. So to keep this relationship between the water that's around us and the water that's within us and the water that has to come into us today, to keep a good relationship, to keep that kind of relationship that even if it's dirty water, once it enters you, it'll dance in joy. If you keep your situation like that, physical health, your physical life on all levels is well taken care of. It's not that air, fire, earth, not important, it's important. But in sheer volume, water wins. Most nations turning democratic, <laughs> majority, you know, you know the value of majority. <laughs> And uh, among the ingredients, leaving the akash, which is of a completely different nature, among the four, water has a more active role, more participatory role compared to the other elements. What does this mean in our day-to-day -day life? What does this mean in our process of creating health, well-being, intelligence, agility and the spiritual possibility. What does it mean? What it means is, you know you can either float on the water or you can drown. That's what it means <laughs> The same water can take you places. The same water can drown you. So, the dimension of water, much has been said in recent times and we know that we can change the molecular composition of water with any kind of reverb or vibration. The way the water structures itself. The way the molecular structure changes so rapidly and water has almost like how human body has cells. Water has its own cellular structure and this cellular structure can change with even smallest inputs of vibration. Vibration can come 
in the form of touch, in the form of thought, emotion, a look or an utterance of a sound, a mantra or just the presence or if one is meditative, it's a known thing. These are recorded now, many images, microscopic images produced like this that when you become meditative, how the neuronal uh, structure in the brain rearranges itself and dances in a completely different way simply because you're in a certain state of experience. When you're joyful, how the neuronal structure is. When you're peaceful, how it is. When you're blissful, how it is. When you're stressed or anxious or angry, how it is. Is… Uh, all these things have been recorded now. Something very similar to what happens in human brain happens in water for every input that is put into it. When I say input, not chemical input, not physical input, just a thought or an emotion can change the molecular structure of the water in a dramatic way. Different bodies of water are responding in different ways for the same inputs. And the same body of water responds in different ways for different people who come to it. If five people go to the river, the same river water will respond differently to five different people. If they allow little space between them, it's clearly there. So, we are dealing with such an intelligent liquid. If they've gone to the extent of saying that water is the most malleable computer on the planet. <laughs>